Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. In this video, we're going to go over how to edit vector graphics, especially the vector graphics that we provide inside of Merchant Former each and every month inside of the Merchant Former Designer. So one of the things that people often ask us is we get these vectors every single month. Is there a way to customize them and change the colors? So I want to go over how to do that. Now the first thing you want to do inside of Merch Informer is go to the Merch Informer graphics. This is going to be for pro level subscriptions only, so if you don't have one of those, you can upgrade in the upper right hand corner menu under your name and then go to your subscription settings. But let's say you already have an account, you can download any of these. There's now over 900 different graphics in here. Every month we provide 100 from suggestions that you guys give us. So you'll see five of them being displayed, but you'll wanna click on the download all button, which will then download them to your computer. Now, once you have those, the easiest way to edit these to create designs is to go again up to the right-hand corner menu and click on Merch Designer right here to the left of your name, and it will go ahead and open up the designer. Now, you'll see that I've already downloaded all of the 100 graphics for that month. SVG files is what we are going to be editing here. If there are the PNG files or the AI files, those are not going to work. So make sure you have the SVG files. Those are vectors. And let's just say we have one on our desktop, which I do. You'll want to come over to images in the left hand menu, and then we'll just drag and drop the image right here. And we'll let go inside of the click or drop images here box and we'll go ahead and upload one of these. Now to add this to your shirt design or any kind of design you're creating, you'll simply click on that, which will then add it to the design. Now from here, if we want to edit and change the way that this vector looks like, all you need to do is once you have the vector selected, in the upper uh, top menu here, you'll click on the advanced SVG editor. All right, that's going to open up the SVG and it's going to show you all of the different color options that are included. So if we go ahead and we select this color right here, we can change this to anything we want. It's going to change that color inside of the vector here. Okay, so we can change this to anything we want. Again, we can select this color. I believe that's his face area. There we go. We can move it around, change it. Perhaps we want it, him to be a you know, big red Buddha looking guy. Come in here each of the colors inside of a vector since these can be blown up as big as you want or as small as you want without them pixelating you can come in here and change them now this is getting to be a very ugly looking buddha guy but you can see you can change every part of the image now once you are done and happy with it you'll go ahead and click on this save button and there you go our buddha is now completely changed now this works with literally any kind of graphic or SVG, I should say, that you put in here. Now, if you come over here and select the original, it will come in here and it will not be the changed one. So let's go ahead and go through one more example of a completely different one. We will go with, how about balloons? Let me add this actually to my desktop real quick. Drag it and drop it in here. All right, we have a balloon. Now, in order to edit this vector, top menu, click on the advanced SVG editor. You're only going to see this top menu once this layer is selected. You'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see the balloon. We'll be able to come in here and say, all right, you know what? I want, I want a green balloon, okay? Let's make a, a green and blue balloon here. Now we can change, change this up a little bit. There we go. We'll say that's good. We'll click on the save button. And right there you see this graphic looks completely different from the original SVG because we can change all of the colors. So it's going to be the easiest way that I know of to change vector graphics. What we provide inside of Merge Former are unique vectors every single month, but changing them up and being able to match them to the color of your full design is definitely important. So download these. You can upload them by dragging and dropping them in here once you've downloaded them to your desktop and then you can go to the advanced SVG editor at the top and change them as much as you'd like. That's going to be all for today's video. If you like this, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.